Hey, what's up guys? So this is another video on my road to real estate kings. Just wanted to actually come back by this other property that I had taken a look at. You know, and I'm really going around the corner right now so I can kind of get situated. So I looked at this property with a great broker buddy of mine's. This one is actually on market, but man, it is not a good deal. Like I'll show it to you without showing you the address. You guys can see that. But again, you know, the, the, the goal here is to pitch Grant a good deal. And one of the challenges anybody would ever have finding deals, I mean, I'm an assassin. I, I know how to find deals, but bringing a camera crew to a deal is a little tough. Like owners are a little bit skittish about that, but I wanted to kind of mark my journey with you guys to what it actually takes and how you can do it, finding deals to be able to present. And even this deal, I don't think this is a good deal. I'm just gonna be upfront about that later. People are gonna see the see my documentary and be like, ah, I'm not bashing anyone's property. That's not how you go about building a relationship anyways. But what you can do is you can be honest as it relates to being an investor. Investing money to make money, raising money from other investors and getting your own money into a deal knowing that there's work. Multifamily properties, when you buy a deal, that's the beginning of the work. You have to actually keep that deal going. So sometimes three, five, seven, ten 10 years of your life, you need stamina for that and you can't have that kind of stamina um, without money. Making money, income producing stuff and you also gotta know what you're doing. So let's take a quick walk around this deal, conspicuously. <laughs> So what I want to show is like down the street, there's a school here, right? So we can't be like doing too much. This is another property behind me um, that, you know, it's a nice property. It's well kept, you know, right here. This isn't the property we're talking about, but this is the properties around this property. I want to show you this for a reason. So um, the deal, that property across the way, those two properties over there, there's like a stack and there's another one. And then there's another real nice one too over there too, right? So everything around this property looks good, but this is, you know, like when I'm taking a look at properties, I'm looking at first what's around it, um, you know, location, the area. Do I love the area? Um, honestly, no, I don't. I think this is a tough area, um, but the rents are here. Like people are renting. Um, I walked this property yesterday, so I just want to kind of be cool about this to kind of see. But if I were going to be pitching this deal to Grant, first thing I'd point out is the location. I'm like, okay, location is not the greatest, but you got um, one way in, one way out. People live here. People have lived here forever. Um, they do have nice properties around this property. Uh, the properties over there, all the properties are full. It's a full property. It's uh, eight units, nine units technically, but there's you know, a little bit of a prop up, you know, ADU off to the side. So, but that's it right there. Looks good. Um, you know, looks good on the outside. It, it's got some work on the inside, but if I were to pitch this deal, I'd be like, hey, look, here's the property. It's the main property off the road. There's no property right here. The property next door across the street looks really good. So worst case scenario, we can get that property to look like that one, all right? There's no property here. No one's probably ever gonna build there. There's a school across the street property around it and there's nothing in front of it that's all good <clears throat> so i think this property here it's nine units um they are fully rented people live there they they are paying and everything's good about it um but it's not in the best location but will this deal make money absolutely right sellers just bought it a couple of years ago i think they bought it for one six they came to market at two one so they're trying to double um i don't think they're going to get that i think they're going to buckle down around one nine um, you know, and even one nine is tough. So, you know, but this is what it takes, right? You got to look at the good, the bad, the ugly. And if you're going to pitch a deal to somebody, you got to be real about that. What first, you know, the question is always what I want that deal. No. <laughs> so I was like, there's not really much else to say. Right. But do you bring a deal for the, just for the sake of bringing a deal to someone like Grant on the real estate King show to just bring a deal, right? Cause if, the case is the case. If he wants a deal, then you need to show him something he likes that you can partner with because you'd have to throw your money in the deal with him. And, you know, I muscled up this deal, whether I had a deal or not. I think it's important to kind of point that out because, you know, the name of the game is to find something. First, you find the deal. Like he says, that's the toughest part about real estate, finding a deal or finding a broker that'll call you back. Then once you build that relationship, you know, you got to be on point, know what you're talking about, show up, don't waste his time, don't waste yours. 
and know that you want the deal because you gotta you gotta close it. So this is just one of the deals that um, I went to. I'm not sure we're gonna pitch this deal. Um, you know, if I do pitch it, I'm gonna pitch it in a way that it makes sense. But I'm also gonna point out the downside to it too, because if we don't have a lot to look at, you know, that that's a problem. But can we make money on the deal? Yeah, absolutely. You go in, you paint it, do the parking lot, clean it up a little bit, um, take care of any code issues that's gonna be there. That's gonna happen first and then um, turn right back around and sell it, which is why you gotta buy it for a little less. And if you're just doing a turnaround project, yeah, it's great. But if you're not doing a turnaround project, you know, it could be an issue. It's not a long-term hold for sure. Um, maybe, you know, 12 months, 24 months tops. So, but that's this one. We're gonna, I'm gonna head to another one and I'll walk that one. The next one we're gonna go to, I do like the property. Plus there's another 40 unit deal that somebody pointed out. It's not for sale, but it could be for sale. Um, they're working that out right now. And um, I just wanted to kind of share my journey into what it really take, what it took to be on the show, whether I'm on the show or not right now, I'm a candidate for it. We got to get a deal. If that doesn't happen, I want to at least have some documentation of what I did on the way to where, as you know, you guys know and recognize that this is something that's happening and uh, it's pretty cool. All right. Let's talk to you guys soon.